Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a dream from one of our YouTube subscribers, longtime subscriber. His name is Anthony, Brother Anthony, and we're going to uh, share this dream. Now, this is teamwork. He had the dream. I'm going to tell the dream. I will be partially reading and partially uh how can I say, impromptu uh, narrating, so to speak, so that I flow. Because sometimes when people write differently than the way you speak, it doesn't flow as well. So I have to kind of put some things in my own words. He understands that. I just want you to know. Uh, so listen, this is the dream. And I invite any of you who have prophetic dreams share them with me I will pray and see if if I should share them I fell asleep and I had a dream it was about the end times there were demons now these demons were not like you would think they'd look they looked like human beings real life human beings they dress like us they move like us, they talk like us, they quack like us. Now, my dream started when some people in my family were with me. And I saw some of the church members as well. I believe the setting was a church setting. Can't really tell, but for some reason, I was talking about something, don't remember what it was, and this guy goes up to the front and starts to speak. Oh, he was a great speaker. But I knew something wasn't right. It just didn't sit right. Now, all of a sudden, you know how dreams go. We switched locations from the church to the beach. And all of a sudden, here I was on the beach with two other guys now i don't know if they were with me but they were there on the beach one of them spoke like a dragon or something growly anyway the other was speaking like an angel and i tell you listen the one that was speaking like an angel all of a sudden attacked I think he was attacking me and changed into some type of a beast. Well, I tried to fight him off, and of course, I woke up. Well, before I woke up, though, let me share this with you. I saw something, it looked like the shape of teeth, and it looked like I saw claws like a bear, like bear claws. The eyes were burning dark red. Then for some reason, everything, everything started to turn bloody red. Now, Pat's two cents. I'm going to let you guys work on that dream. But knowing that we're dealing with the demonic shows... I saw when I read that there was some deceit going on. You know how some people can speak with great swelling words and be full of the devil. But be very, very charismatic and very, very magnetic and attractive and they can lure a lot of people in. Those are the dangerous ones. The ones that come as an angel of light. And then you have those that are re representing themselves as an angel of light. And just when you begin to let your guard down and you begin to trust, all of a sudden you realize they are a vessel of the devil himself. And some of you women find that out by the way the man turns out after you've married him. And some of you men, excuse me, find out the hard way after getting to getting into a business deal with another man. And you think this is the real McCoy. 
And it turns out he was a decoy to get you in the wrong direction so he could pull you down. So, you know, we have to be very careful because in these days, the demons are not going to be so obvious like they have been in the years past. And we have to really keep our guard up. That's why this is one thing we need to ask God for. The gift of discerning of spirits. When you can discern a spirit, a person can be smiling with you with the most angelic, innocent looking smile. And everyone else might be taken by it. But in your spirit, like he said, something doesn't sit right. There's a, uh, an automatic repulsion to that person. They almost make you angry because they tried to trick and deceive you. And you know it when no one else can see it. That's the Holy Spirit opening your eyes. We all have to have it, you guys. We can't believe everything that's told and everything that's done. We cannot believe it. We have to pray and ask God for where the real truth lies. You hear me? Okay. Therein lies some of your protection. God bless you and keep your eyes open, your heart awake and your mind on guard and on God. God bless you.